Okay, so part two of the lines uh, animation in After Effects tutorial. Uh, now today I'm gonna show you a bunch of tricks and uh, technique that I use to uh, animate and add things onto the lines. And yeah, first I'm gonna jump in and talk about the first one. I'm gonna obviously uh, create a new shape layer. I'm gonna draw that around. So you know, imagine how the ball is gonna go around the uh, composition to so draw out the path that the ball is going to go through first you know very quickly and yeah then I'm gonna pull up a trim path so go over here to shape number one add a trim path if you remember in the last part the trim path is used to uh, retract the uh, starting and uh, end point of the line. So if the ending is at 100% of the line, that's the entirety of the line. But if it's uh, only 50% of the line, then the line is gonna end at half of the path that we just drawn. Pretty straightforward. Next, I'm gonna pull up our main tool for today's video. Uh, head to Window, Create Nulls from Path. Uh, you should have this uh, come in stock if you have After Effects. Click on that and it's gonna give you three options over here. Create points, follow nulls, nulls that follow points, and, and then trace path. We're gonna focus on the trace path uh, option. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the path that you already created down here. Uh, click on trace path. And what's it gonna do is gonna create a uh, new null layer for you. And this null is, follow is actually following the, uh, following the path to and you know, if I slow it down a little bit more, it, it, uh, it also has a, uh, its own preset effect here inside of the effect control. So you can see trace path and progress. And as you can see, it's also keyframed. So you can uh, go ahead and press U and it's gonna, it's gonna display those keyframes for you. And then as you can see, there's, there's two keyframes going from 0% to 100%. And yeah, so 0% is, uh, uh, the starting point of the line and 100% is the ending point of the line and you can drag these keyframes out to slow down uh, to slow down the speed that they know is actually going from this side of the line to this side of the line let's, play, let's uh, run it back again yeah that's I think that's uh, better to see and that's also looping back and there's an option to disable uh, looping of the null over here if you, un uh, if you uncheck the box. It's gonna go ahead and run it back again. It's not gonna loop anymore. So what can you do with this information? Well, uh, there's an actually pick with the progress of the trim path because you know the progress of the trace path and the pro progress of the trim path both go from 0% uh, to 100%. So I'm gonna drop down the shape layer, go to trim path one, uh, and then take the pick whip next to it, uh, parent it to the progress uh, option, click on that, yeah. And now as you can see, the uh, number of the uh, ending point of the trim path has now follow the uh, percentage of the trace path as well. So I need to drag it down. This null is also gonna follow the progress of the line as it draws out. Pretty neat. And uh, I think some of you can uh, probably guess what we're doing next, right? Well, yeah, we're gonna parent something onto these, the uh, null over here since we already got a, uh, got a null that we can use to uh, parent stuff to. And now we're gonna create a new shape layer um, it's gonna be a small circle like this. We're gonna give it a new color that stands out. Compress it back to a square format. Drag it down like so. Increase the stroke. Uh, kind of looks like a donut. I'm gonna call it donut. And then I'm gonna drag the whole thing, the entire thing over here to this side until, you know, until you can see that the, uh, uh, the center of the uh, donut is actually nearing the uh, ending point of the of the path. You know, wh wherever the progress of the path is, you're gonna drop that uh, donut. You're gonna drop that object over there. To, and then what you're gonna do is parent that uh, donut over here 
to the trace path. Boom. And now the position of the trace path is also uh, linked to the position of the uh, position of the donut. Yeah, and then you can go back and woo. Now you get a donut that uh, now you get a line that forms wherever the donut goes, and you know is a pretty neat trick if you want to create some sort of uh, stock market uh, graphics, so it's like some, some some stuff like that um, uh, to display a graph or display a sort of trend uh, on a on a graph or something like that. You know, finally, for some reason, if you want the line to disappear wherever the uh, donut is going uh, to you know follow the progress of the donut and actually go in here to the original path that we had um, pick with the uh, starting uh, point of the path to the uh, progress of the uh, null again like uh, we did with the ending path over here and yeah, as you can see, the line has disappeared because obviously the starting point and ending point is meeting each other. So there's going to be no line because as soon as the line is being created, it's uh, also immediately disappear. So what can we do about that? We can go ahead and jump into the expression down here next to the entire uh, line of code over here. We can actually put in minus 10. And that way, the uh, progress of the starting point is going to be minus by about 10% uh, in comparison to the uh, ending point. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the other two options. And you know, if you have half a brain cell, you can already tell what the uh, what the options are capable of anyway. So I'm going to create a new shape. Uh, let's just do a standard white for now. So first thing what I'm going to do is drop this down and go ahead and jump in and animate the path. Uh, head over here to maybe one second. Uh, while I'm still in the pen tool over here, click on the shape, the shape option over here. There's you know there's multiple way, multiple way to approach these points. I'm just gonna drag one up here, drag one down, drag one up down yeah that's exactly what i wanted now for example if you have already created multiple keyframes for the uh, for the path over here yeah, i'm sorry to say that you have gone too far uh, into the process within the shape and you're not going to be able to use a points uh, follow nulls uh, effect because whenever you do that, I'm going to go ahead and show demonstrate you what I'm saying over here. If you click on the path, uh, create nulls that make the points follow the nulls, it's going to cancel out all the animation that you had inside over here. So, you know, you, uh, the standard procedure you get uh, this multiple nulls and the points inside of the animation is going to follow these nulls. What was supposed to happen is that you imagine that these uh, points, since there are already keyframes over here, they're going to have to follow follow the uh, nulls at some capacity but it's not it's actually cancelling out the animation you had before inside of the shape so yeah whenever you I can control z that whenever you already had animated the uh, animated the lines within the shape over here inside of the uh, path option you're gonna want to go with the second option over here which is create the nulls that follow the point and I'll go ahead and click on that you still get the animation over here inside of, the, of your shape, but right now the uh, the new nulls that have just been created are actually following the points instead of the opposite. Okay, so I yeah you know I'm just trying to demonstrate the differences between uh, having nulls that follow points and having the points that follow the null. You know if you already had a animation within the path over here always goes with the no follow point option otherwise you're gonna have to reanimate the whole thing again uh, using points that follow nulls. Now what I wanted to do is actually attach uh, something sort of an infotainment something that displays some sort of uh, uh, information uh, next to the point of the nulls. Create a new shape there and I'm gonna draw out a new path that is uh, pointing toward this uh, singular point and I'm going to call that line number two. Drag down the size of the stroke a little bit. Maybe uh, uh, decorate the line a little bit right here. A little square, you know. It's 
wanna like one of those uh, display thing like in uh, watch dogs for example then have the inside of the stroke over here okay, so you know just go crazy whatever you want and then um, going into the shape i want the this end of the line to follow the animation of this end over here drag our new line over here to this side so that it doesn't collide with our original line in here okay what I'm gonna do is uh, drop down the uh, second path of the first shape remember this line that we're focusing on and click on the first option not the second option but the first one which is having the points follow the null boom and now you have two new nulls unlike the option that we apply to the first line this one has two new nulls that we can control that we can use to grab and control the position of the lines around and you can kind of guess what I were uh, about to do right we're gonna attach gonna attach the position of the second null to the position of the of the purple null over here of the first line that we just created Okay, so uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is navigate to which null that is. That's null number three, okay? So that's gonna be null number three and null number eight. That's gonna be attached to each other. Usual procedure, parenting the uh, null number eight to null number three. And yeah, now we can replay it back to see how it goes. Boom, like so. Wow. Yeah, so we can have multiple points uh, on here. We got all these uh, all these points over here on the line, and we can even have multiple info points over here attached to these multiple nodes. And uh, here's something else that you can do. Um, I actually just create a new shape layer for that. Now this is gonna mess the composition up a little bit. I'm gonna call it the square and circle circle square right take these two shapes over here inside of the one that we just created uh, control x to uh, cut them off and then i'm gonna paste them over here onto the shape and obviously there's gonna be some discrepancy between the position of the two layers so no matter uh, i'm just gonna drag the uh, shape over here back up to the top again and then i'm gonna uh, attach this uh, circle square layer over here to the to the null on the top over here which is null number number nine drag that up boom and now you get uh you got uh you got uh, a, a graphic so a sort of graphics that goes along yeah um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much cover the entire range of what this uh, powerful script can do. I uh, honestly a big fan of this this script. Has helped me a lot, uh, saving a lot of my time uh, uh, during my workflows. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.